What are the cosine, sine, and tangent of 300 degrees? Similar to the previous example, you can use a 30-60-90 triangle once you see there is a 60 degree angle. Try to put a 30-60-90 triangle in there. Unfortunately, the triangle doesn't overlap the 60 degree angle. Even if you try rotating the triangle, the 60 degree angle won't overlap properly. In this case, you need to flip the triangle before the 60 degree angle will line up properly. When you label your flip triangle, remember that the side of length 1 is across from the 30 degree angle, the side of length root 3 is across from the 60 degree angle, and the hypotenuse is length 2. Now that the triangle is oriented properly, the triangle can be put on top of the 60 degree angle. The side lengths of the triangle can help you determine the coordinates of a point on the terminal arm of the 300 degree angle. The x coordinate of point P tells you where point P is in relation to the y axis. Looking at the 30, 60, 90 triangle, you can see that P is one unit to the right of the y-axis. And since point P is to the right of the y-axis, its x-coordinate must be positive. Combining these two facts tells you that the x-coordinate of point P is positive 1. The y-coordinate of point P tells you where point P is in relation to the x-axis. Looking at the 30, 60, 90 triangle, you can see that P is root 3 units below the x-axis. And, since point P is below the x-axis, its y-coordinate is negative. Combining these two facts tells you that the y-coordinate of point P is negative root 3. At this point, you know the x and y coordinates of point P and point P's distance from the origin. So, you can now determine the cosine, sine, and tangent of 300 degrees. The cosine of 300 degrees is equal to the x coordinate of point P divided by the distance from P to the origin. The sine of 300 degrees is equal to the y-coordinate of point P divided by the distance from P to the origin. The tangent of 300 degrees is equal to the y-coordinate of point P divided by the x-coordinate of P. Finally, negative root 3 divided by 1 is simply equal to negative root 3.